My name is Jeevan Earl. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for OSVR. What are you showing here at E3 with OSVR? Um, we recently announced the HDK2 right over here. So the HDK2 um, is essentially um, ha has an upgraded display. It's a dual display panel running at 2160 by 1200, 90 hertz and 110 degree field of view. On top of that, um, it's silver screen, it's persistent, and um, it's combined with these optics we have here. So these optics are actually custom crafted, uh, made of SLR grade material with uh, no color aberration, low distortion, and um, really a large eye box. So you get really, really crisp, clear, vibrant images in combination with the display. On top of that, um, this guy's open source. Um, which means that any new controllers that come into the OSVR ecosystem can be combined with this. Um, owners of the HDK2 will have options when it comes to controllers and um, unrestricted access to content um, as the open source ecosystem supports uh, OSVR, supports Steam VR, supports different emulators. And as we continue to, as the VR industry continues to grow and we continue to support more content platforms, um, owners of the HDK2 will get more and more access to that. Talk about how it connects to your PC. I see the, the adapter right there. Yep, so we have a proprietary connector right here that goes into a belt box. The belt box as, acts as a hub that um, gets all the really messy, wiry cables to the computer, um, clips onto your belt, so you can move around unrestricted. So what kind of games are out right now for the uh, OSVR? So we have a game running here right now by our partners at 34 Big Things. It's called Redout. It's a wipeout type experience of anti-gravity racing, really fast, really cool. Um, and it was actually, I think it's also for, available on the PS4 and the Xbox 360, Xbox One. Sorry about that. Um, at the same time, we have experiences like Alice VR by Carbon Studios. Um, we have demos by our partner Glove One. Uh, they make um, haptic feedback gloves, so you can essentially touch what's in the VR world. And we have a lot more as well. How much is the headset currently? The headset costs $399.99. Awesome. So talk a little bit about what differentiates your headset from like the HTC Vive and the Rift. Well, I mean, first and foremost, it is open source. It does have the visual specifications that is comparable to the Rift and the Vive, but it is open source. So as a developer, you have a more options, more choice, more unrestricted access to innovate. And as a consumer who owns the headset, you gain access to this innovation really, really quickly. Talk about your development fund. So, um, as mentioned, we are an open source platform and um, we, are, we are very, very for um, unrestricted access to content. We recently announced a $5 million OSVR developer fund that essentially works to get all VR content supported by all hardware, um, working on all hardware through the OSVR ecosystem. Um, we, th this is our way of fighting against walled gardens, uh, DRM, uh, restricted content access. We believe that the VR industry is still young and all the hardware out there needs a chance to go equally. Um, contribute their innovations to the industry so that it can grow uh, and it can succeed. When, uh, when is this SDK out? The SDK is out already, it's on the website, it's free. Anyone can download it and use it.